Hello everyone, this is the question from Form 2, Circle. Now diagram 3 shows a circle with radius OP. So OP is the radius and we have the radius perpendicular to the chord given. You have to know that when a radius make perpendicular uh, to the chord, it will bisect the chord into two equal parts at 90 degree, so it will bisect this. Okay, let's see what other information that we have. If the radius of the circle is 13, if the question gives us the value of radius, we have to mark the radius from the center to the end of the chord. Don't mark here, there, or use this, no. Okay, don't use the OP. All this marking will not give us any meaningful uh, information until we mark our radius from the center to the end of the chord, either on the left side or on the right side. Okay, either one. So uh, this one will be 13. Okay, and then what else do we know? It says that QS is 12. So if QS is 12, all right, now do you see that we have a right angle triangle here where we need to apply the Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras theorem, we can find OS. That is square of 13 minus square of 12 and then square root. Okay, therefore we have 169 minus 144. That will be square root of 25, which is 5. So we have found OS to be 5. Once we have found OS to be 5, then we can find SP, isn't it? Which is this part. How do we find SP? SP will be taking the radius because it's part of the radius. So we take 13 minus the value of OS that we have just found, which is 5. So we have 8 cm. That is the answer.